Hola, 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 mis amores. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están haciendo? Espero que están teniendo un muy buen día y también un muy buen semana. Um, si van a hacer algo muy interesante o fantástico, déjame saber. Leave it in the comments below. Okay. So, hi, 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 my loves. How are you doing? Hope you're having a really, really good week and a really good day so far. Um, and let's dive into the topic for, for this podcast and for this particular video. Okay. Now, I tend to forget in my videos, but go ahead and smash that like button for me. <laughs> go ahead and smash that like button for me. Okay. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button for me. Helps out the channel so much. So glad you're here. Thanks for being here. Um, and also leave it in the comments below as to what your thoughts are on this particular uh, topic. Okay. So today we're going to be talking about legacy and what the true meaning of legacy is. All right. I get I think it's just so funny, you know, when I hear when I hear males say that having a legacy is having children. It is so weird to me. It's like the world, the you know, one thing that I found, one thing that I found is that it's it a lot of times it feels like the world operates on this like so, not even the world, society. It's like society likes this blanket of comfort, okay? And the blanket of comfort is usually woven and made out of lies, right? And so anything and everything to not see the truth and admit the truth, that is what most people do, okay? And so they, you know, it, it stifles their growth, they have a, a, a severe inability for um, logical thinking, a severe inability for complex thinking. It's, it, 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 I mean, they don't even, Google is like, you could literally just pull up Google and Google what is a legacy. They would never even do that or think to do that, right? So it, it's, it's, it's outstanding to me when males especially come and say, well, you know, you, you, you have kids because that's your legacy. No, kids aren't a legacy, okay? kids children are human beings <laughs> your legacy can not be another human being okay you having a child is not a legacy okay you having a child means that this is a whole human being of their own okay what does that mean well this is a human being so they're gonna grow they're gonna make their own decisions they're gonna put choose their own path. They're going to decide how they want to live it and what they want to do. And there's nothing on God's green earth that you can do about it. That is not a legacy. That's not a legacy. Okay. So if that's the reason, if that's the thought process that you're following, hate to be the bearer of bad news, sorry, not sorry, but it is stupidity to say right to think and continue to think under this mask of delusion although i understand why it's there most people will stay there it doesn't matter if they watch this video if they watch another video if they watch a, a male say it, it doesn't matter what you do um unfortunately you know at least 90 at least 90 percent of people in the population they like living underneath this mask and this cloak because it's what they're comfortable with. So they would much rather live a lie than confront the truth, right? And when you live a lie, there's nothing you can do about it. You essentially end up wasting your life because that means you went your whole life um, convincing yourself that having a child is a legacy. And then when that child grows, when that child wants to make their own decisions, when that child wants to go their separate ways and do something that you don't agree with, go a path that you completely disagree with, now all of a sudden it's a problem and your whole world is crashing down and the child is the most horrible child po possible or, or on God's green earth. When that's not really the way, I mean, you did it wrong and there's no, the one thing you can't ever get back is time. So you refuse to confront the truth. And because you did that, this is the consequence. Okay. You uh, refuse to take control of your own life. You refused to um, really face the truth in the face. Okay. And take control of that. Right. So because you did that, there's no way you're going to end up where anywhere even close to where you want to end up. Okay. You keep telling yourself a child is a legacy. A child is not a legacy. Okay. You cannot leave a legacy just by having a child. We know Martin Luther King's name. We know ML, MLK's name, right? Can you tell me, can you tell me without looking it up or anything else, right? 
what how many kids he had and what their names are and how old they are how many kids did he have what are their names how old are they you can't tell me martin luther king okay the, he didn't say oh because i have a child that's the reason why people will remember him people don't remember him because he had children that's not what we remember him for okay his legacy right was <laughs> something that he did something that he himself did not oh I, I because i have a child that's my legacy and that's what what people remember him for no okay he amassed an, a, a huge amount of people he, he was an integral part in ending slavery you know these are the things that people remember him for okay that is his legacy not his children we don't even know their names okay we don't even know their names all right um albert einstein what was his legacy do you can you tell me right now without looking it up or googling it what does he if he has kids what their names are how old they are you can't tell me that is not his legacy that's not what we know albert einstein for okay we know albert einstein even after all of these years because his legacy was something that he did right his legacy was um a part of himself right like he was brilliant and and gave us a lot of uh, brilliant theories and inventions so you know these are the things these are the things that need to be understood here all right so when we take a look here at the definition of what a legacy is all right we can we can see it here okay what is a legacy okay the definition of legacy is something that is passed on okay but legacy can take many forms right something of value that is passed on okay so you passing on your genes is not a legacy okay no one's going to remember you because you passed on your genes <laughs> okay like your children are going to go off and do what, whatever it is that they want and there's no telling if they're going to even choose to have kids themselves and that's the end of that there's nothing you can do about it that's not a legacy a legacy may be one's faith ethics or core values Okay, a legacy may be monetary or your assets, right? So if you have money, okay, your legacy is the money that you're passing down to your next generation. It's actually the money. It's not, it's not the kids themselves. It's what are what are you, what did you do? What did you do? Not what what are my kids gonna do? Not let me give birth to the kids so they can do it. Not no, what did you do? right? A legacy may come from one's character, reputation, and the life that they led. You comes right back to you. Your kids cannot save you from this fact, okay? Legacies, legacies often tremendously impact, encourage, and leave pathways for future generations. Leave pathways. Not, oh, I'm just going to have a kid and, and leave nothing and claim that, that that the kid is my legacy. No, the pathway that you leave, right? Wealth, money, core values, traits, that is the legacy. And if you don't have those things, you don't have a legacy. You do not have a legacy. That's it. Okay, books that you might have written, right? A, a true, true legacy impacts the mass, right? Not even just your kids. Like if you really want to live a legacy where you're, a legacy is what you're remembered for by the masses and it goes and transcends generations. Okay. So what did you do, right? What did you, what did, did you write books, right? Did you write books that impacted the lives of the people? right did you did you change lives is that what you're going to be remember you are going to be remembered for is changing and impacting other people's lives that is a legacy okay so legacies um provide guidance and inspiration for family members and those impacted by you to live lives that impact their faith homes community and businesses you it has nothing to do with the child that you birthed your child and your child in and of themselves that they are not a legacy your child is a human being <laughs> it's just so funny to me your child is not a legacy sir ma'am your child is not a legacy your child is a human being your child is not here to make you look good 
<laughs> that's not what your child is here for. Your child is not here to take on all of your dreams and your, your failed aspirations and do the work for you. That's not what your child is here to do. Your child is a human being, not a legacy. That's a human being. There's a difference. Okay. If you want a legacy, you have to do that work yourself. No one else can do it for you. Just like if your child wants a legacy, they're going to have to do the work themselves. No one else can do it for them. So anyway, this is like something super, super common that I always see. So I wanted to make sure to make a video about it. But go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Okay. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks. Bye.